Only on News 4, for the first time, we are seeing those terrifying moments inside of Manassas Denny's restaurant that ended with a delivery driver being shot and killed and another man gravely wounded. That video and a confession leading a jury to convict a young Manassas man of second-degree murder today, along with dozens of other charges. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief, Julie Carey, has our story. Police called this the worst decision of Jordan Anderson's young life. This security camera video played for the jury, showing Anderson and accomplice bursting into a Denny's restaurant in the early morning hours after Christmas Day. Intent on robbery, they order diners to the floor, their cell phones grabbed. But the manager escapes to call 911. Realizing he can get no cash, Anderson then turns his gun on diners, first shooting Bradley Sheets. We're stopping the video as Anderson pulls the trigger. Then, as Anderson runs out the front door, he fires a second fatal shot at Yusef Osgar, the delivery driver just arriving to pick up a food order, unaware of the danger inside. The husband and father died on the scene. The jury today finding Anderson guilty of 45 charges, including second degree murder, aggravated malicious wounding, and multiple gun and abduction charges. It's been our position from day one that each person inside of the Denny's was the victim of a crime. And the jury confirmed that today when they came back with guilty verdicts. The terror and fear inside the restaurant still evident. The surviving victim's girlfriend holding her hands to her head as first responders work to save Sheets' life. Commonwealth's attorney Amy Ashworth had asked jurors for a first degree murder conviction. Several witnesses, including surviving victim Bradley Sheets, testified that Anderson yelled, somebody's going to die tonight before pulling the trigger. But defense attorneys countered, saying Anderson never intended to kill when he entered the Denny's, that he panicked as he fled. Ashworth says she's still satisfied with the second-degree conviction. The murder victim's wife and daughter declining comment until the case against the second defendant, Ryan Walker, is resolved. A sentencing date will be set in a few weeks, but the Commonwealth's attorney says she plans to seek life in prison. In Manassas, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. Now a trial for the accomplice is set for next April.